So I've just got off the bus at a place called Tonopandi Steps. I'm going to the Savoy Theatre, not in London, in Tonnerevo. Never been there before. And obviously I won't be able to show you the show, but I thought I would start today's video on the journey because I know a, a lot of you are from the valley and they've left. So I thought you might want to see, you know, you might see a place and go, I remember that. So I'm now waiting for the one, two, one to take me to the next part of my journey. So I'm actually waiting for the 122 bus, but this is the back end of Tonopandi. The high street is just behind all these houses. It's a sort of bit of an industrial estate now, and it's a cut through. So you, I don't think you can drive through the main street now, but unfortunately, so they tell me, since this has been here, not a lot of custom is in Tonopandi because people now sort of go past it. And here we have the Ronda River running through the valley. Look at those houses up there just hugging the side of the mountain. And up on the left is what we used to call the spaceships. And I don't know what they are. I'm just taking a guess that they're either gas storage units or something to do with water. I don't know these mountains. This is a bit out of my territory. I'm guessing this is why they call this stop Tonopandi Steps, because of those steps just over there, which take you all the way up to the high street. <laughs> I didn't hear the stop that I needed to get off at. So I've just got off. He's told me walk through the fields and go through the steps and I'll be there. So looks like there's an adventure starting. <laughs> the tannoid thing wasn't working. And now it started to rain. Anyway, I've got about 20 minutes before the show starts. You would certainly get very fit in this area with these very steep hills. I got one more hill to do and then apparently we're nearly there. And there it is. Looks a bit different from the London Savoy, but I'm going to pop inside now because it's starting to rain. So I'll catch up with you in the end.
got to Tonopandi and now I'm waiting for the next bus, which is the last bus of the night at half ten. I've got a half an hour wait. And I just caught myself thinking, oh, I need a pint of milk. I'll just pop down to the shop. I must think I'm in London. Obviously, there's no shops open. And I even asked somebody, is there a news agent that's open? And she looked at me as if I'd come off the moon. So hopefully I've got enough to see me through for till breakfast. Because I look forward to a nice cup of tea now when I get inside. Let's hope this bus turns up on time. Good morning. It may be 11 o'clock, but I have been awake since 7. But I have a lot of deliveries coming today, so some bits and bobs to finish the house off. Because life got in the way, and I remembered, oh yeah, I need to finish that task off. Um, I also want to update my cooking facilities. So, I'm going to pop down Chiroki, I think. <coughs> because I want to go and get some uh, sausages, maybe some chicken for tomorrow. So I'm having a really quick breakfast today. While the breakfast is cooking, I was just looking out of the window and I thought, when I put these plants into the garden, this wall is going to look quite bare. And I've quite enjoyed looking out at the daffodils and the roses there. So I don't think I'll do it today because I won't have time, but I'm thinking about putting some troughs, maybe just two troughs on that wall there so I can, well, just see life growing outside the window. Those daffodils really brighten it up. And just above, I might not be able to see it, the tulips are out. No, the two, the hyacinths are out and the tulips are just about to come out. Quick update on my mint. Mint is doing really well. I'm not sort of impressed with this heated mat. I think what I may have to do is to dismantle all this and sort of build a sort of container so that it's all nicely contained and maybe that will keep the heat in a bit more. So to save a bit of time, I'm just going to throw the eggs in and sort of make an omelette, a mushroom omelette. Just don't want to miss these parcels. I'm starting to learn that with this cooker, towards the end you can actually just switch it off, but it continues cooking. Looks lovely. There we go. Scrambled egg omelette with a bit of HP sauce on. So the first thing to do is to get some cash out because I think seeing as I'm down here, I may as well pop to the barbers. And I wonder, let me have a think, maybe I need some vegetables as well. Mm. 
Now it's time to get a bit of veg in for Sunday lunch. Well, my hands are getting quite full up now. I've got my veg, now get a bit of meat, and then it's straight home, waiting for my delivery. Busy today. So I'm in the butchers just buying now from Cyril. How long have you been here now, Cyril? 35 years. 35 years. Man and boy. Man and boy, yeah. They tell me that, during it, that before the lockdown, you used to cook the turkeys at Christmas for people. Yes, always. always. I never heard of that Not before. Not so much now because it's the cost of electric. Yeah, but I never heard of that before. Yeah, we Busy day on the weekend? Yeah, it's quite busy, yeah. Kept yeah. yeah. And I'll have four of your four pork and leek sausages, please. Beautiful. Well, look at that. The sun is coming out. Whee! Maybe I'll go out to the garden. Although, I need to get back. I hope this bus is not going to be too long for these deliveries. So, if there is time, I will pop in the garden. But I think this sun is not going to stay around for much longer. In fact, saying that, and I can already feel it's starting to pick to rain, so I'm going to jump on this bus now, probably have a nice cup of tea. Yeah. Nice and cosy down there. Okay, go back to sleep then. <sighs> Do you like a little sleep in the afternoons? Just been woken up by Amazon. They have brought the things that I've asked for. And then just as I came in the house and started to unpack them, I then got a, another delivery. And that is for the allotment. And it's for the shed. But the shed's not coming until, I think, the first week in May. May. It just blows your mind, doesn't it? Just to think about time slipping through our fingers like grains of sand. So it's Saturday and the latest video has just gone up. Well, it went up this morning. But I was looking at the comments and apparently there is a thing called LED lights. So I've already been onto Amazon and I can't get over how cheap they are. I think it was three or four for £9.99. So I've got the ladder. I'm going to check what fitting I need and then I'm going to buy some. So it's either bayonet or screw. Unfortunately, I think half this house is bayonet and half this house is screw. And every time I think of bayonet, I think of uh, Dad's army. They don't like it up them, sir. They don't like it up them. So what I might do is I might just buy four of each at nine pound, you can't go wrong. But apparently they tell me that the LEDs are very cheap to run and they give off a good light and you can decide sort of whether you want white light or a different shade of white just to warm the room up a bit. Also, when I was down Truroki this morning, I was recognised in the uh, spas. I went in to go and buy some milk after I went to Cyril the Butchers. And a lot of people have asked me over the last 24, uh, 24 hours How many cups of tea a day do I drink? I'm not too sure, to be honest. So what I might do is, because today's already started, the next time I film, or t tomorrow, I might make a count of how many. 
So put in the comments below, how many cups of tea do you think I drink in a day? Bayonet. The answer for downstairs anyway is a bayonet. The answer for the kitchen is a bayonet. The answer for the bathroom is a bit more complicate, complicated. It's one of those uh, ones where you've got to take it off and put it back up again. So I won't bother with that one. But the stairs is a screw. So, right, let's go in the kitchen and I want to open my parcel and show you the things that I've been buying off Amazon to put the finishing touches to the house. I rushed out of the house so quickly this morning, wanted to catch that bus that I didn't have time to clean up after my breakfast. Organic milled flaxseed. So I've got some flaxseed that will go in my collection so I can make my granola. So rather than the, having my food from the veg man th this week, who comes around on Thursday, I went to the organic shop, as you saw this morning. So I picked up some mushrooms, some very big juicy carrots, I treated myself, completely out of season, but I bought myself some runner beans. I thought it, that might give me a bit of oomph when I come to uh, do the allotment. Savoy cabbage. What's this I bought? Dorset sea salt. Because so I want to start putting a bit of salt into my diet. And some apples. I haven't eaten a lot of fruit over the last week and what's interesting is when I jumped on the scales yesterday I forgot to do it today when I jumped on the scales my weight I'd lost half a stone and I thought that's interesting I wonder if that's because I've not eaten as many bits of fruit also got a leek so that can go there and what else did I buy? I can't remember. Parsnips. I'm going to rearrange the kitchen at some point. And I'm going to take the veg from here and put it into the cupboard. Because I admit now, it is going off a bit faster being out in the light. So I'm going to put it in a dark cupboard. But I need to rearrange things first. And also some new potatoes. Now she gave me these two bags and I said are those bags going to be strong enough until I get to my front door and she said yes I guarantee they'll get you all the way home. Well what was quite funny was this one broke but it broke on my doorstep so she was correct it did get me all the way home. Also, what else did I buy? Oh yes, some butter from Cyril, Welsh butter. So that can go straight into the butter dish, which, can you remember where I bought this? I was trying to remember the name of the market. It was that flower market we went to one Sunday morning last summer in London. Uh, what was the name of it? Columbia Road, that's it. There we go. And I don't put that in the fridge. I tend to keep that out. So when I need to use it, then it's nice and soft. What else did I buy? I can't remember now. See, so you go to sleep over an afternoon, then you forget things. Some turkey breasts. And some pork and leek sausages. And what I like about Cyril's sausages is they're a bit square. They're handmade, but they come out a bit square. And when you are cooking them, oh, 
beautiful smell. When you're cooking them, that's actually quite handy because the sausage will just sit there and then you can turn it over, cook the other side, rather than a perfectly round sausage that comes out of a machine and you try and roll it over and it goes nearly off the uh, pan. So I do love a square sausage, I'll tell you that for nothing. Also, a bit of a tradition here in the Welsh Valleys, and this has been going on since Job was a boy. A lot of houses will have this on their wall, which is a CJ Morris family butchers. And I remember my family having this on the wall, my grandmother, and it would become a bit of a tradition that every year you'd pop down to the butchers and get a calendar. So I'm a bit late to the party this year, but we'll just rip a few off. So where are we? April. So there we go. Cyril will have a part in these videos moving forward, but I'm not going to put it up in the house because I've already got one there, but that will take pride of place in the shed when it arrives at the end of the month. So, what else is there to do? Ah yes, cup of tea isn't it? There are a few times in my life where I become sick and tired of tea. Last time it happened was about 18, 18 months ago. And I just gave up tea for about three weeks. I just had enough of it. But I don't think that's going to come anytime soon. It's a cup of tea that'll get me through putting up the, the shed and making the allotment. That's what I should do. I should be sponsored on these videos by Yorkshire Tea. Has anybody got any contacts there? These are the gloves I bought in the local pet shop, £5.95. And I think these will actually be very handy for getting the brambles. Now I've just noticed though, that one of them seems to be slightly, there's not a rip there, but the stitching has come and done a bit. But I'm not going to spend £8 to take them back to the shop to get them changed. They'll be okay. Let's a bit of air in, doesn't he? Right, so this is what I've bought now to try and finish the house out in the way that I'd like to do it. I'll keep this cardboard for the allotment. I can't remember. Do you do you do this? Do you buy things in the middle of the night? And then you think, when they turn up, you go, I can't remember what the dickens I bought. Oh, right, okay. I've just remembered what I've bought. Which means I shouldn't have bought what I bought earlier today. Do you know, you know that sea salt I bought? I've only gone and bought Himalayan sea salt. Look at that, I'll have enough salt that I could float in the bath with. So, I will we'll add that. These cupboards will be falling off the wall soon. Again, I'm going to have to sort things out, put things into uh, little compartments. All right, it's the really fine stuff. I thought it was like the rock salt. Okay, that can go in there. Right, what's this? Butter tray. Yes, I'm going to go into making my own butter, or at least giving it a go. So this is the, the mould that you put the butter in. And then I assume you then put it in the freezer. So I've never done this before. So it's a learning curve. Like I said, every day is a school day. What's this one then? Oh, this is, now if you remember back in January or February, I bought three pictures to go on the wall. And I haven't got around to, put, to putting them up. So they are the frames to go up on the wall. Okay, that's another task. And then what else do we have? What's in here? 
Ah, this is part of the butter making process as well. So I bought my own butter this week, as I just showed you, just in case this doesn't work out. I'm not going to rely on this just yet, because obviously the first food goes, are probably not going to work. I did forget to buy some yeast, so I've put that on my shopping list. And apparently this is what you need to make butter. So you put the ingredients in the jar and I would imagine you just stand there. Hold on, is that on secure now? You just stand there and you beat the butter. Now I could have bought an electric one. But where's the fun in that? You know, this is part of going back to the old days, part of the slow living. We're not in a rush to get things done. Not in the kitchen, anyway. On the allotment, there's a bit of a rush to get at least a bed or two done by the start of May. Our final frost here in Wales, the last time I lived here, was second week in May. So if I can get one patch, that means at least I can put some crops in. Right. You remember when I first moved in and I bought these from Amazon utensils, but they're plastic. And I've always had an issue of using plastic utensils, especially when you're cooking, because the plastic at the edge starts to fray up a bit. And we might consume that and what good is that doing to the body? So I had a th sort of think one evening and I thought, let's go back to the way grandma used to do things. And they had stainless steel. So I bought myself a complete set of kitchen utensils, which are stainless steel. There you go. And one thing I'm going to change in the coming months, not in a rush to, to do this, is I want to change. So I've got a frying pan. So I'm going back to the old fashioned way of doing things. But with this stainless steel set, it comes with a, uh, What's that called? A rod. So I'm thinking about putting it in between the, the cupboards. So I can have my utensils hanging down on chains by the side of the kitchen there. Right, seeing as I've already started to pull this out, I might probably have to do it now, shall I? No, because I want to show you what that other parcel was, because that's part of the building of the shed. I, I, I didn't have that tea, did I? Let me pop that kettle back on. This is quite heavy, so I'm going to have to find out if there's a taxi service or a man with a van in the area to help me take this and my tools to the allotment when the time comes. But this is the base for the shed. Now I didn't want to use concrete because that means I would have to carry it up to the allotment and my allotment's on quite a steep slope. So I've bought these. Now I've used these in the past, but this is a different design. The ones I had before were a bit smaller, but it is plastic grid Okay, I don't, I don't know what this is. Maybe that's free as well. It is free because it's there. But what you do is you slot them together and then that, that forms the base of your shed. Now in the past, I've just done them empty and just put them in. But you can if you wanted to. And I might do that here. In fact, on this shed. But you can fill this with gravel. Just get a bag of gravel, throw it in. Now I'm not going to undo it because I know they're there. 
I can't remember how many I ordered, but it said this is the set that you need if you were putting in an 8x6 shed, which is what my shed is. So until I get it to the allotment, it's just going to have to sit in the middle of the living room. I'm sure the cats will love climbing over the top of it and playing with it. So for my birthday, I thought I would treat myself to a new fragrance. And I very much like the fragrances of the fragrances, the fragrances that are coming out of Penhaligons, which is in London. And there you could go to the shop, try them on, and then buy what whichever one you wanted. But obviously there's no shops down here. So what I did was I went to their website and I bought a tester kit. So in here is all their fragrances that they sell. And there was one in particular that I wanted to smell. But would you believe it? I bought this, I paid for this, and I got a free gift. And can you guess what the free gift was? Yes, the free gift was the the scent of the bottle that I wanted to try. And I've got no idea, but how on earth would you even say that name? Can you see it? Let me just bring that a bit closer. And it's a bit of a shiny one. Look at that. I love the paper. If they were printing the paper off, I'd get a sheet of this and put it on the ceiling for the shed. And then I found out afterwards even if I had bought the cheapest thing on the entire site, I would have still ended up getting these free samples. So, so I'm not going to do it today because I went to go and have my hair cut today and he sprayed me with all his uh, colognes. But it comes with a big book. It gives you some information about them all. But to be honest, I was thinking to, thinking to myself, I've got no plans to go out anywhere where you would need to put this on. You know, I've booked a few evenings out at the theatre. So to be honest, this tester kit, or as they call it, a scent, li a scent library, I think this might be enough to see me through for a year, to be honest. So rather than buying the whole bottles, you could just go past, you could just go through life by buying these testers so oh well I, it's been a busy old day today I feel thoroughly exhausted and tomorrow is Sunday and obviously Sunday is synonymous with going to the allotment so I will be taking my gloves and I'm taking my secateurs that's why I've got them close and I'm going to take a a rake and I'm going to start clearing the brambles. So it's good to have this date in my mind where I know the shed is coming on a particular date so I can get that top part of the plot done. So sometimes having a deadline is quite a good thing. But my deadline now is to get a cup of tea in the old stomach. So I'll catch up with you next time. So for me until then, bye for now.